you'll see the relations between the delta uh, standard free energy and the kc so today we'll solve problem based on free energy and the equilibrium constant or standard equilibrium constant so this is question uh, for the reaction nocl uh, is the equilibrium reactions uh, two no gas and cl2 is given so calculate the standard equilibrium constant at 298 kelvin and given that uh, the value of delta h standard and delta s standard of the reaction is 298 kelvin that is 77.2 kilojoule per mole per mole and a free energy standard free energy is 122 kilojoule per mole so we can apply here the formula of so delta g is equal to delta h standard okay so minus t delta standard okay so you can put directly value as 77200 minus temperature is 298 kelvin into 122 Okay, so here we'll get answer 40844 joule per mole. Now, now we have to find Kc, standard Kc. So for Kc, uh, we have formula delta G standard is equal to minus 2.3 RT log of Kc standard. Okay, so here we can find log Kc. So we can write here log kc standard is equal to minus uh, delta g standard divided by 2.303 into 8.314 multiplied by 298 okay and this is equal to minus 40844 and divided by 2.303 into 8.314 multiplied by 298 so here we'll get value that is a minus 7.158 so uh, using anti log of this one so anti log kc after using anti log kc so we'll get here this value uh, 6.95 into 10 to the power minus 8 so this is our basically answer so the second question delta free energy for nitrogen and 3 by 2 hydrogen is equal to ammonia uh, 16.5 kJ per mole and find out the Kp for the reaction at 25 degrees centigrade the report Kp delta g of the reactions at 25 degrees centigrade so we have found Kp also so directly we can write here log of kp is equal to minus delta g standard is equal to uh, 2.303 rt this are basically formula so directly put this value so minus 16.5 into 10 to the power 3 and divided by uh, say minus is so 2.303 so this is a uh, minus delta g is our minus given here so 16.5 into by minus 3 okay so here 2.303 okay so this will be here multiplied by 8.314 into 298 okay this will be here 2.8917 okay so kp will be here so kp will value 779.41 okay now uh, if you see the ammonia the reaction n2 3 by 2 it will give you ammonia so what is the kp value so from this kp value is nothing but the 779 uh, 0.41 into a square of uh, 6 point and that is 07 okay into 10 to the power 5 so this is the capital value from here okay so we can find um, this is that is delta g standard is equal to minus 2.303 into 8.314 multiplied by 298 and here log kp is uh, 6.07 6.07 into 10 to the power 5 joules so here we will get answer minus 32 uh, 9 this is point 0.998 so kilojoule per mole so this is the standard free energy for this reaction so here the kp of the reaction is 1 per 7 to per 12 at uh, 25 degrees centigrade what is the delta standard free energy for this reaction at this temperature and expression kilojoule per mole so we can find here delta g naught is equal to minus 2.303 so rt this is your log of k so r we know that temperature we know that and k is given here so k is given here so directly we can put this value minus 2.303 into 8.314 and temperature is 298 and log of 1.7 into 10 to the power 12 so we will get answer here minus 69785 uh, that is joule per mole or we can write here minus 69.785 kilojoule per mole so this is our answer now for the next question in the second so in the reactions of 2 and 2 and 
uh, and 2 plus oxygen delta H is given here 1 minus 163 kilojoule per mole and here delta S is given plus 148 uh, joule uh, per kilo per mole so what is the value equilibrium constant at 25 degrees centigrade so again we can write here delta G naught is equal to delta H naught minus T delta S naught so this is our uh, relationship between delta G and delta S so here we have given delta H we have given delta S given T delta G given. so directly we can put this value so delta in is equal to minus 163 into 10 to the power uh, so this is 10 power 3 uh, minus 298 into here 148 so on solving we will get here minus 207104 joule per mole so this is our answers now equilibrium constant so if you want to find equilibrium constant so equilibrium constant is nothing but you can find here anti log of anti log of minus delta z naught divided by 2.303 rt so it will be your minus anti log so here we got minus 207104 divided by 2.303 into 8.314 multiplied by 298 so we'll get here yes, anti log so anti log of here uh, plus 36.29 plus 2 cents so we get answer here 1.94 into 10 to power 36 so this is the value of kc so we got this value at 25 degree centigrade Delta G naught for the uh, reaction 2H2O, it gives you two uh, molecules of gas, hydrogen gas and oxygen, it is 424.4 kJ per mole. So we have to find Kc for this reaction. So again, we can directly write here K is equal to here NT log of directly put the value delta G naught. So this is minus and divide by 2.303 R into 2. So on putting this value NT log, so NT log of just put this value minus 474.4 into 10 to the power 3 kilojoule given and divide by 2.303 into 8.314 into 298 Kelvin. So on solving we will get here 7.2 into 10 to the power minus 84. So this denotes that the reaction is very slow reactions, very low value case is given here. So this will take place very slowly. So now we will see next reaction that is uh, x plus y that is value of this one Kc equal to 1.8 at 200 Kelvin. So calculate delta G of the reaction. So again here, directly put this value. Delta G naught is equal to minus 2.303 RT log of K. So again you can put here minus 2.303. So R is given here 8.314. And here 298 Kelvin and log. So log is given, Kc is given 1.8. So this is 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 7. So on solving we will get here 1, 2, 5, 7, 6 joule per mole or we can write here 12.576 kilo joule per mole. So definitely we normally use to write in kilo joule per mole. So this is convenient for our answer. So here uh, methanol a potential replacement of petrol is made by following reaction. So carbon monoxide plus H2C water gas. So on high temperature pressure it will become uh, methanol. So 25 degrees centigrade it kps this much. Now 10 power minus 6 was 6.2 pi. Calculate the delta G for this reaction. So here we can write here delta G naught is equal to minus 2.3 RT log of Kp. And we know the Kp is given here. So we can directly put this value. R is given here 8.314 multiplied by 298 and log of Kp is given 6.25 into 10 power minus so here this is, is 3 this is 3 so right here this is 3 ok on solving we will get here 1 2 5 7 6 joule per mole or we can write here 12.576 kilo joule per mole so this is basically our answer a reaction can convert coal to methane coal to methane uh, with this reaction carbon plus hydrogen CH4 for this reaction delta G is given here uh, 50.7 kJ per mole in positive value calculate the Kp value so again Kp value will be nothing but the uh, K is equal to nt uh, log of delta this is minus delta G naught and divide by 2.303 RT so this will be your nt log nt log of so put this value delta G that is minus uh, 50.79 
into 10 to the power 3 and divide by 2.303 into 8.314 multiplied by 298. So ultimately we will get answer 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 9. So this is our k value for the reactions. Sucrose gives sucrose plus water, glucose plus fructose. This is a reversible reaction. Kc for this reaction is 210 per 13 at 300 Kelvin. So we have to calculate uh, calculate delta J at 300 Kelvin. So again, we will use the same formula. Delta G0 is equal to minus 3, uh, 2.30 uh, 3 into 8.314 multiplied by 300. And log is given here. So log is 2 into 10 to the power. 30. So directly we can put value. So here minus 2.303 into 8.314 multiplied by 300 on, on solving. This is log of 2 into 10 power 20. The same value is there. Okay, so on solving whole we can get here 7640 joule, or we can write here minus 7.64 into 10 to the power 4. So it will be your if you divide by uh, note it is a joule per mole or we can write kilojoules it will be your uh, so if you divide by 30 so minus 7.64 and divide by 3 it will be your kilojoule so it will be your kilojoule per mole or we can write here minus 70 uh, not 76.4 uh, 76.4 76 kilojoule per mole so this is our basically answer